I get to do some really cool nerdy gigs. I actually, I actually perform for the American Association of Physicists. A dream gig for any comic, let me tell you. <laughs> this was a wild, they were out past nine. Woohoo! <laughs> so they came to me and they said, you know, can, can you make physics fun? And I took it as a challenge. So I wrote for the, at the time what I thought was the world's first physics joke. So here you go, the world's first physics joke. And Adam walks into a bar. That was it, they were dying right there. They're, oh God, and, and Adam can't walk into a bar, that's crazy. <laughs> It's got no arms or legs. It's, it, it travels in distinct energy levels. This guy's nuts. And according to Heisenberg, you can't even be sure it's in there. This is... That was enough, but there was more to the joke. See, Adam walks into the bar, says to the bartender, uh, give me a double. The bartender pours in the drink, hands it to him, goes, man, you look terrible. What's your trouble? And the, the Adam says, oh, I lost an electron today. The bartender says, are you sure? And the Adam says, I'm positive. <laughs> Now, I, they reacted better. <laughs> but it was really funny. I wrote that joke seriously like 15 years ago. People tell me all the time they hear it on the internet. It's become like a standard joke. But I had one guy one night actually heckle me. He was like a drunk chemist. <laughs> I swear to God, he goes, eh, that's not a physics joke. That's a chemistry joke. I'm like, I'm getting technically heckled. This is incredible. <laughs> So I said, no, sir, this actually is a chemistry joke. That was a physics, an atomic physics joke. Here's a chemistry. Same bar, later that day, a sodium atom walks in. Apparently all the elements hang out there. The sodium atom spots a chlorine atom, beats him up, and he's arrested for assault. That is a chemistry joke.